Hi, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you to you uh, this the paper going to have uh, going to uh, proceeding in next uh, conference of uh, the Pacific Association Association for Computational Logistics. Uh, this paper named uh, end to end uh, recurrent uh, neural network model for Vietnamese name entity recognition uh, work level versus uh, character level uh, uh, abstract uh, this paper demonstrated uh, demonstrated uh, an end to end neural network architecture for the Vietnamese name entity recognition this uh, uh, this system combines the bidirectional long system memory uh, convolutionation neural network uh, and uh, conditional random field and the input is the return work embedding and this system achieves the F1 score of 88.5 Processor on the standard set and the uh, reverse uh, first rank system for up the VSB uh, 2016 name entity recognition E 88.78 percent. So, introductions the name entity recon uh, recognition is a full full metal start in NLB and uh, information extraction uh, this start is identifying now phase and classifying each of them into a redefined class and the VASB commu community has organized an evaluation campaign to systematically compare the name entity recognition system for the Vietnamese language and uh, this paper represents a set up the uh, name entity system for Vietnamese language for Vietnamese language without using any handcraft features and relay works of uh, the first approach is for this uh, problem it use a uh, well abstracted sense a sequence flavoring model such as CRF SMM S uh, VM and maximum entropy and so on. The second approach is a use neural network model, and uh, this system use uh, you this uh, methodologies and the resource and discussions. First of all, the they use the VLSB corpus to train and uh, test this system. Uh, the VNSB but it consists of an electronic news server published on the web and they re identify re identify for name entities type, persons, locations, organizations and order and evaluation method AF1 score. In the first uh, experiment the work they want to compare the work level model with character character level model uh, they compare the effectiveness of work uh, and character level across without using any external covers uh, both of the two systems check check embedding as an input of uh, bi bidirectional long system memory and predict predict output by the CIF top player and this is the resource and this resource so that the character level model a get a the high score than the work level model in the second uh, experiment they want to know the effect of the work embedding so they use the external covers to learn the work embedding 
uh, this table show that the water vector embedding it gets the high call down the random embedding in the next uh, uh, experiment they want to know the effect of the character of a phaser so they adding the character level phaser learn from the CNN model into the work level phaser so in this table so that they are adding the character level learning from the CNN model the, they get in the highest, highest score then the model don't use the character level and uh, five, five, final uh, experiment they use the parameter at the same at the reverse system in the uh, VSB uh, 2016 uh, evaluation campaign and the accuracy is the accuracy is of the best mo their best model he achieved the 88.59 percent and the best uh, in this table shows the performance of the name entity group system at the VSB 2016 and the the best perform is 88.78 percent, but the model yields very, very much uh, handcraft features. In conclusions, this uh, paper investigate a variety to end up end to end recurrent network architectures, architecture at both work and character level for Vietnamese name entity recognition and the best end-to-end -end system is the combined combination of bidirectional, bidirectional, long system memory, a convolutional a neural network and a conditional random field model and use the street retains work embedding as input which achieve the F1 score is 88.59%. Thank you for listening.